and kiss our display. It was a beautiful day on the island of Sodor. Gordon was on the express line. Express coming through! Nothing could make Gordon feel bad today. Nothing could stop Gordon today. But then there was trouble. Spencer had derailed Gordon. Oh, Spencer, what are you doing on my express line? What do you mean your express line? This line is for fast engines, Gordon. Not slow coaches like you. Now see here, Spencer. I'm the fastest engine on all of Sodor. I heard that Philip beat you in a race once. Just then, Thomas the Tank Engine puffed by. Wow, what a mess. Were you racing Philip again, Gordon? Oh, little Thomas. Spencer derailed me by trying to go onto my express line. Gordon, this line is for fast engines only. I'm the fastest engine on all of Sodor. Even faster than Philip? Well, I'm on Sodor now, Gordon. You're just gonna have to get used to being second best. You'll never be as fast as me, Spencer. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't you two have a race? Now everyone will know I'm the fastest. Oh, you're on, Spencer. We'll race around Sodor. Good, it's settled then. And off Thomas went back on his branch line. Soon, Thomas arrived at Knapford Station, where his friend Percy was waiting. Hello, Thomas. Hey, Percy, guess what? Gordon and Spencer are gonna have a race tomorrow. They'll be going all over the island of Sodor to see who the fastest engine really is. Wow, Thomas, all around Sodor? That's a lot of track. That'll be the best race ever. Little did the engines know that Diesel 10 was listening in. What? A race between Gordon and Spencer? This is the perfect opportunity. If I can derail them both, then I'll be the fastest engine on Sodor. Oh, Pinchy. The next day at Napford Station. Okay, guys, this race is all over the island of Sodor. First one past the finish line wins. Gordon, are you ready? Fastest and best, here's the express. Spencer, are you ready? I'm ready to settle this once and for all. Okay, ready, set, go. go! Gordon and Spencer raced all across Sodor. The two engines were racing as fast as they could.
The two engines raced fast along the lines. But while the trains were racing, Diesel 10 was lurking in the shadows. So, they think they're faster than me. We'll soon see about that. And soon, Diesel 10 was on the racetrack. As the two engines continued to race, Diesel 10 struck. Rat, I only got his tender. No matter, I won't miss Gordon. I feel lighter and faster. Meanwhile, Gordon was racing on the other side of Sodor. Oh, I'll show Spencer who's the fastest. Make way for the express. Spencer will never catch me now. Meanwhile, Diesel 10 was waiting underneath a bridge. I'll get Gordon next. So as Gordon continued racing, Diesel 10 struck. <laughs> what? Another tender? Oh, hmm. Wait a minute. Without their tenders, they can't go very far. I'll wait for them to run out of coal. And then I'll derail them. And with that, Diesel 10 slicked away. As Gordon and Spencer continued to race, they soon found themselves going slower and slower. Until finally, they stopped. What happened? Oh, I've run out of coal. So have I. Say, Gordon, where's your tender? What do you mean my tender's missing? Wait a minute. Your tender's missing as well. Who could have done such a thing? Diesel 10, what's the meaning of this? You silly steamies thought you were better than me. Now who's fastest and best? That'd be me. Without Gordon on the rails, no one can beat me now. <laughs> what happened? With you two out of commission, I'll be the fastest engine on all of Sodor. And with that, Diesel 10 oiled off to cause more confusion and delay. The two engines sat there, derailed for a very long time. Finally, Gordon spoke. This is all your fault, Spencer. Me? If you could just admit that I'm fastest and best, none of this would have ever have happened. Now see here, Gordon. Everyone knows you Sodor Steamies are second best to my sleek silver streamlining. As the two engines continued to bicker, Thomas arrived. Wow, what happened to you two? The engines explained to Thomas that Diesel 10 had derailed them both, with each engine blaming the other one. Thomas was blunt. All you two silly engines thought about were yourselves. And where did that get you? Off track and off time. Both you big steamies are fast. It doesn't matter who the fastest is. You should each be proud of who you are. You're right, Thomas. We are a couple of silly steamies, Gordon. Oh, right you are, Spencer. But now that we're off the tracks, who's going to stop Diesel 10? Don't worry about that, said Thomas. You leave Diesel 10 to me. Meanwhile, Diesel 10 was all over Sodor. 
gloating that he defeated the two big steamies. Heh heh heh, they'll never catch me now. But as he was speeding along, he came across Thomas the Tank Engine. Hello Diesel 10, you're looking mighty slow today. Slow? I'm the fastest engine on all of Sodor. Oh, is that so? You don't look so fast to me. And with that, Thomas raced off. Diesel 10 snickered to himself. We'll soon see about that, silly steamy. And Diesel 10 rushed after him. Everywhere that Thomas went, Diesel 10 followed. As Thomas puffed through the massive shunting yard, he unleashed his plan. His driver switched the points. Then there was trouble. Oh, Pinche. Not so fast now, are you, Diesel 10? Later on at Napford Station. Good work, little Thomas. Yeah, Thomas. Thanks for taking care of Diesel 10. No problem, guys. I just hope you two learn to get along. Oh, don't worry about that, Thomas. We've agreed. No more racing. It doesn't matter who's fastest or best. <laughs> Oh no, I've been derailed again. Sorry, Spencer. Yes, Spencer has been derailed. I am the fastest engine on Sodor. Now no one can beat me. Hello, little brother. Would you care to have a race? Oh, the indignity. Guys, click here to watch another video and click here to subscribe to our channel. Bye!